Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. One of the topics which are hitting my comment section from last few days is called functions of attitude. I've already covered few lectures on attitude. I'll be posting the link in the description so that you can watch those videos also. Do join my telegram channel. I am posting all my PDF over there. So let's begin this topic now. So let's talk about the functions. So what are the various four functions we have in attitude? The four functions are adjustment function, ego defensive function, value expressive function and the knowledge functions so the question big question over here is that what does these functions signifies so the, the this function signifies or serve people's need to protect and enhance their image that they hold for themselves that means every person has an image every person builds his self image and he wants to protect that image or enhance that image and for that purpose these functions are very very useful or they serve as a purpose of protecting that particular image so in a general term if we try to explain these functions so we can have a positive attitude or we can have a negative attitude right and we can always have positive attitude for something which is our goals or we can have a negative attitude towards any objects which we perceive as punishing or threatening so these functions act as a motivational base for both these attitude positive attitude also and negative attitude also so for positive attitude they will push you towards that particular object and for negative they will ask you to stay away from that particular object so these are the main functions objective of these functions so let's talk about the first function and that is called adjustment function adjustment function so attitude of often help people to adjust to their work environment right we all adjust to a work environment whenever we go to an office we work in an organization we try to understand what is the culture over there what are the rules and regulations and we adapt ourselves and that is one of the adjustment we make when you are well treated then you are likely to develop a positive attitude towards people around you that is in the society or in the organization so when you are treated well when the people behave with you very prop in a proper manner you always frame a positive attitude towards those people either you are living in a society or you are living in or you are working in an organization and on the other side when the employees are criticized or when you are criticized and you are given a minimum salary or you are not given a proper respect these are likely to develop a negative attitude so when you when people behave properly you frame a positive attitude when the people don't behave properly with you you frame a negative attitude towards the management towards the organization towards the society towards that person so it is completely possible right and that act as a basis of their future behavior that means what we do that we try to assess the environment we try to adapt ourselves towards that environment we try to make adjustment and then our future behavior also gets modulated by in the same way in which we are perceiving the environment right so the adjustment function direct people towards pleasurable or rewarding objects and ask you to stay away from unpleasant and undesirable ones that means what you do first you assess an environment if you find that environment to be pleasant environment you get pushed towards that particular environment toward that person and if that particular people person environment is not pleasurable or it is undesirable you try to stay away from them and that is what the first function is all about let's talk about the second one and that is called ego defensive function so what is ego defensive function it refers to the holding attitude that protect our self esteem or that justify action that makes us feel guilty so whenever we do something it may be right or it may be wrong if we are doing something wrong or if we are doing which which we believe that it could be wrong in future we we always have the feeling of guilt and that is the reason why this function helps you to protect yourself from this feeling guilty it protects your self esteem also so ego defensive functions helps your self esteem this function involves psychoanalytical principles where people use defense mechanism to protect themselves from psychological harm so whenever we feel that we are going to face a psychological harm from an object from an environment from person what we do we try to protect ourselves we try to protect ourselves through different defense mechanism i have already covered this topic called defense mechanism i will also be posting that link there so that you can watch that what is defense mechanism but there are some examples like projection like denial like avoidance there are certain defense mechanism which we adopt time to time based on what kind of harm we are feeling facing from the stimulus right so mechanism include denial repression projection rationalization these all are certain examples to those defensive function let's take an example like examples isko samajhne ki koshish karte hain an older manager whose decisions are continuously challenged by a youngster 
subordinate manager may feel that the latter is brash, cocky, immature and inexperienced. जब कोई young manager is, when a young manager is challenging an older manager, then what happens is that most of the old manager believe that they are immature, they are inexperienced, they don't understand how the job is done. These are the common notion which older people feel. So in truth, the younger subordinate may be right or in challenging the decision. So in certain situation, the younger person can also be right, right? But the older manager may not be very effective leader and may constantly make poor decision. And that is the reason why if he is challenging you, that means there is a possibility that you are not making effective decisions or you are not acting as a good leader. On the other hand, the older manager is not giving or admit this, but will try to protect his ego by blaming the other party. So rather than you are accepting your errors, what you do, you keep on blaming you keep on blaming and you keep on protect your protecting your ego. This happens with so many students also. When they fail, they will never blame themselves. They will blame to the system. They will blame to the coaching institute, to the teachers, rather than accepting their own failures that they were distracted by something. And that is why they have not been able to perform in a particular examination. So what we need to understand that ego defensive function try to blame others to protect their own ego. Let's talk about the next one and that is called value expressive function. So what are value aggressive function? Whereas the, as we know that the ego defensive functions are formed to protect person's self image on the other side value expressive attitude is enables the expression of personal centrally held values. We already know what are values. If you don't know, please cover another lecture from me that what is value, what are instrumental values and terminal values. So every person holds a very strong value system which they learn over a period of time and we try to express our those centrally held values to others also. Central held values are established to attend our identity, to establish our identity and gain a social approval, thereby showing us what we are and what we stand for. So basically these values are your identities which are developed over a period of time. This helps you in gaining the social approval from other people also. At the same time, it expresses who we are and what we stand for. This gives you the idea of what values are. Sometimes attitude are important to person because they express values that are integral to self concept. So most of the times we accept those attitude, we form that attitude which are in sync with our values. Right? If, if we are doing something, if anything which matches to our value, we say that, okay, this is positive, this is good. But something which is not matches to our value, we say that this is not good, we should not be following this, right? So it is more, let's take an example also. One whose central value is freedom, right? One who believes that their central value is freedom, then these person will always have good positive attitude towards decentralization of authority because decentralization gives you the power of freedom. It gives you some decision making power also in the organization. They also like flexible work schedules because they don't want to get bound with the time and more importantly, they get relaxation in dress codes also that also they like really well. So once who believe in freedom, they will like all the rules and regulations framed for freedom. So these are called value expressive. So in the same way, one who believes in discipline, they will have their different kind of criteria. One who believe in punctuality, they will have different kind of criteria. So this is something which we need to understand. Let's talk about the fourth function and that is called knowledge function. So the knowledge function refers to our need, which is consistent and relatively stable. So what happens is when we start our education, we start we try to learn a lot of things, right? We also learn from environment. We also learn from our experiences. We hold different knowledge for different, different things. And we always try to accept those things which are consistent and stable with our knowledge, right? This allows us to predict what is likely to happen and give us a sense of control. So it provides you a sense of control. Why it provides you a sense of control? Because you know that in the past, this has happened. And now if it is happening, the same thing will be repeated. That is what knowledge is all about. This help people to describe the causes to a particular event. So if the event is happening, you always express this is happening because of this. And then it also ex explains you the a particular situation of people which people are likely to be useful in making sense of them. So what you do, you acquire your knowledge and then you implement your knowledge to express a particular situation, an event, a person's behavior, everything you and then you then to try to accept those things which are inconsistent and stable to your knowledge. So consequently, they help to make world more understandable, more predictable, knowledgeable and knowing a person attitude helps us to predicting the behavior. So what we need to understand is that this particular knowledge function helps you in understanding the predicting the behavior of other persons also. Right. 
so for example people who are more not familiar with the nuclear energy may develop an attitude that is dangerous and should not be used for energy source so for example the people who are educated and they know that what is the benefit of using nuclear energy they may treat it as that it has some positive outcomes as well on the other side the person who are not familiar with this they will always say this is very dangerous this is used for making bombs and this could be very very we should never be using it so that is the difference that we always try to be consistent with our knowledge we accept only those things which are consistent to our knowledge and stable with our knowledge as well so i hope you have understood what are the four functions if you really like my channel do subscribe to it do share with others also do join my telegram channel all the pdf will be available there we'll be meeting in the next session very soon bye bye